Hey everyone, it's time for Super Mario World ROM hack. Classic Mario World 1, the Magical Crystals Definitive Edition. I just want to open up and say, uh, apparently a lot of people follow this around. Even though I have the videos for it unlisted. Those will probably go away very soon from this moment that I'm speaking about right now. Only because, I don't know, slow in the uptake. I should have noted that I was making this drastic change, except it's been over half a year, and I'm pretty sure you should know. Anyway. <clears throat> it's a hack. By some fellow. Well, the original release, to my understanding, was in 2013, and that's when I got interested in it. I waited for uh, bugs to be fixed. And then when I actually started doing an initial recording of it, um, there was even more bug fixes for years later. Hopefully the Definitive Edition means it's stopped, but the Definitive Edition is becoming a bit of a meme at this point, where it's just like, oh yeah, the truly final edition, I promise. Then as DLC, it's like, no. Dad! We did it! The Legend of the Magical Crystals is true! Great! With this great power, the Mushroom Kingdom is mine! In a some place near the dinosaur land. Also, creator of this is Brazilian. So the English is not his first language. In fact, you go straight up and play the Portuguese version of this. Sorry to say there should probably be a Portuguese LPers out there for this kind of stuff, but I can't be one of them. Just a language barrier. No biggie. Let's go home. Oh, yeah, Yoshi's Island music. Maybe I should cover that? Yeah, I was thinking of it. I try not to cover that stuff at the same time other people I know are doing it, just to give a little breathing room, plus I have so much other stuff I can do. If you come back here with Yoshi, the dialogue will explain that you need to switch palaces to get to the final, true final world, or what have you. So, being the 100, the completionist. Can't really say what 100% means, but being a level explorer, I gotta do it. This is the coast of plains, eh. I see where Hardy is, starting with a secret exit and those damn walkers. Ah. Still in the march, though. There's a few changes from the last time I played this in the Definitive Edition, which actually make, made it much easier for me to, like, it was already not too bad, but it's even easier for me now. Or, or I just got better over time, which is also true. One of those things is, you can now spit your fireball upwards. It's so cool. It doesn't amount to much. There's wall jumping too, but since the level design didn't need it, it's not going to come up too many times. I've got some Donkey Kong Country bonus pieces. There's a lot of little bonus areas that I probably will not be seeing, but they usually have a dragon coin in them if you're one of those that gets the five dragon coins every level, but uh, there's a re... Some levels have more than five dragon coins, so that's not really going to work out as a idea for me to do. I guess. Dun, 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 dun. At least they have them in the castles. So, one of the, and the final thing that's probably the most important thing. I don't know if star blocks were added, but I'm used to those. It's not that. It's when you fall off at the bottom of a bottomless pit, so to speak. You get ejected back up, back up, and take one hit point of damage. Incredibly useful. Incredibly. In fact, it also shows the one time in which you can get a hit of damage while you're invincible. It's really weird, and I, it's not going to be brought up, but yeah, uh, don't worry about falling off. Dun, 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 green plants behind the bush. Did I mention the silver pea, or sil silver pow switch? Doesn't just turn enemies into silver coins. It also turns the munches into coins. We'll come back to this for the secret exit. You can bypass a lot of this stuff. So there's a there's a good healthy dose of sequence breaking if you're looking for it. Speaking of sequence breaking, um, if you find the star, except for the last two worlds, if you find if you find the star road, it'll take you like a few worlds ahead. It goes from a star to a pipe. It's odd, but that's how it works. 
which means there isn't a star world, but there is, I would call the equivalent of a special world, so we'll, that's okay. Dos Equis Tostitos. Yep. Yeah, some of my fans are like, come to Brazil. I'm just like, but I can't come to Brazil. And they're like, come to Brazil. I'm just like, even if I wanted to, now is not the time for me to really go much of anywhere. Even so, um, Game Wolf Song does not have his passport yet. I never needed it. <laughs> this doesn't come up, but, you know, when things clear up, that'll be one of the things I do. Because by that point, everyone's going to want to travel the world, like, constantly. Which is good. We need people to visit each other. Now I kind of want to do it, even though I like being holed up all day, but... It's not because I have a lot of fun playing video games. You know what the other reason is? I have a, <laughs> I have a huge motion sickness problem. <laughs> Luckily, it has nothing to do with my eyes, so I can just watch really crazy things with, like, seizures and stuff like that in Vertigo and not have an issue. But when I, you know, just basically when I'm in the car, boom, sick. Not air sick, mind you, because unless maybe there's turbulence, but yeah, I don't know. Can't, can't really explain my lack. It's, like, it's funny, because I'm, like, a great tourist. Just a terrible traveler. <laughs> Although, I'm probably not going to follow you for your goddamn tourist trap, you got me? Don't you dare trap me in your tourism, I tour for myself. Grand Touristmo is what they call me. And some circles. My circles. And they all overlap each other, because they're the same circle. Spiny Road, exclamation point. So, each Switch Palace is a level with the Switch Palace part inside it. That's nice. Give me... Bu -bu 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 give me some music remix. Oh, this lack of dude. He's having a Kodak moment where he forgot to put the red-eye filter on. O or maybe he's albino. No. Maybe just lacks... Maybe he just lacks some chroma in his... In Scalera, I don't know. Either way, his eyes are blood red, and he's coming for you. No, it's okay. A lot of lack, a lot of lack to here tend to be here's one, and then they'll come back later in the same level. Not really that all that threatening. Although there is that one ghost asshole, the ghost lack too, or what have you, that comes back twice, and I'm not, I'm not, I do, I do not like that guy. I just don't. It's my least favorite guy in the whole game. Who I think the best guy is? Obviously the Charging Chuck, he's so versatile. And he's like a sportsman. He does many, many sports, including the sport of mining and the sport of duplicating himself. That's a sport, right? He's also like an animal trainer, because he's got like whistles. Something else I should note about this, because of the wall jumping mechanic, um, when I'm just trying to run, over small gaps like this, it's gonna just force me into the wall jump mechanic. So it kind of screws me over, but I got some workarounds for that. Each switch block has something for you. So the yellow ones have mushrooms, the green ones have feathers, I believe the red ones have fire flowers, and the blue ones have one ups. In some mods, I've seen the blue ones instead of stars, which might. Which would be a little bit more balanced than having a lots of extra lives in my opinion. I'm gonna poke you right in the forest, you know that? Here, have some more Donkey Kong Country music. Hope you like this cre hope you like this bandicoot guy, because he loves his Donkey Kong and he loves his Crash Bandicoot. Kind of a bit too late to have that message getting Yoshi, considering one, I got a Yoshi intro, and two, there was a Yoshi at the Yoshi house. So the fact I got another Yoshi message in a level where I get a Yoshi, it's like third time getting a Yoshi, it's like, oh, okay. I guess officially, officially, I got my first Yoshi. Officially. Strange. Strange, isn't it? I'm thinking the same thing you are! I like the idea. Or when you clone someone's brain, it doesn't just, it's like cloning how they think in real time makes it like a mirror instead of just a proper clone it's interesting dun, 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 dun. it's like cloning is outlawed until we actually perfected cloning by accident that's Star Trek <laughs> da, 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 da. Da, da. 
You know, I'm wondering what part of the future is going to happen next. I've been debating whether it's space travel or whatnot, but it, it seems like... It seems like holograms have a good chance. Not so much where they gain sentience, but, you know... I, I'm thinking, you know, after the whole virtual reality craze, which, you know, technically we have a virtual reality craze like every five or so years, so it's not like that's ever going to stop. But at some point... We might, I'm hoping we get something equivalent to holodeck with the augmented reality stuff. Although it costs a lot of energy to do. But the potential there, well, if you can physically interact with it, yeah, that probably won't happen yet. But just being able to see stuff and generate it, yeah, that's okay. I like when they put holes in the ground. It really makes me think, oh, this is not trendy or anything. Yes, I've seen localized modding memes. Yes, really. Da -da -da. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, look, it's linked to the past music. Sure, why not? Wasn't there Arc Red Time music at 1.2? Yeah. So we got some Zelda stuff. Cool. Although I'm always surprised when they put in music that isn't from the Super Nintendo and you're just like, Hey, you don't belong! I'm more impressed when it uses its own sound font rather than trying to use the Super Mario World sound font. Especially considering it's not even that large, so the fact it's able to do that. But it does cause some weird sound glitches. You have the ability to wall jump! I think he was trying to combine habit with ability and didn't succeed. Or, he just thought of the Silent Age. That happens. It could be a lifesaver, trademark! When's the last time I had one of those? Never, son! Okay. Oh yeah, that's the other thing that's different about the Definitive Edition. Um, instead of having the regular goalpost, it just functions like... Um, well, I've, I've seen it... What the fuck was that? I've seen it where it's, it's usually like the Mario 1 flagpole. This is just with the Super Mario graphics, even though it's pretty much acting like that. And there'll be plenty of mods that have that same ending animation. But you can still do the thing where you carry the shell and it becomes an item and stuff like that, so... Feel free to peruse the Purdue Frozen Meals. Which means, in French, you have lost your lunch. You lose. Do -do 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 -do. How are we doing? I'm okay. Not so much. How about you? I'm trying to speed shit up. Being like a fog in the wind. Oh. Um. You can come back, Star. That was a very slow Star. Not that I need it, because I'm... First of all, I have to abandon Yoshi, because I can't bring my Yoshi up the vines. Or the TikToks. Fuck. Into this place. That is the place that you go in. This is a shortcut to the first castle. We won't be doing that yet. Let's proceed cautiously. Let's continue aggressively. Riverside Pass. R -r 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 Riverside. Do 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 do. Let's make you think the dubstep thing. All right, now we have Aquatic Ruin Zone from Sonic 2. Yeah. Yep. We got everything. We got Donkey Kong. We got Crash. We got Zelda. We got other Marios. We got, like... I think... There might be some Kirby somewhere, too. Yeah. All the obvious classics of my generation. Yeah, yeah. Although, here's something. I haven't played a mod of Mario with Spyro music yet. Or if I have, I didn't know about it yet. What's with that? Isn't there good Spyro music out there? <laughs> Who has the answer to my question? It's like I'm supposed to be professing, but I'm just asking my viewers all these questions for no particular reason. Because when they come back from this time capsule, they'll be like, I can answer your hail, man from the past, from the future! Behold, I have your answer right here! It's like five years later, it's like, oh, I found out on my own, and I forgot about it. It's like, oh, well, I wasted my time then. Yes, yes, you did. That didn't spawn correctly. We're gonna have to do something about this. Oh, look, it's those mining things. It's the miner men. They work at the footballers' union, I guess. 
with these fish I will continue. If you got the ruins of the water, dun 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 dun, fish, water, fish, and spikes. Hey, that's some green background. Don't try to keep constantly filling the space with the dead air, or the air gets dead. And you don't want that. You want live, sentient air. That's how it works, right? You gotta speak every constant moment until everyone's sick of you. There we are. It ended just as soon as it arrived. Am I coming or am I going? That's why you gotta wear a shirt that says the same thing on the front and back. So that no one will be the wiser. And then you're thinking, oh, what if I walk sideways? I don't know. Each video will split these worlds in half, usually a, a fortress, and then a castle. That's how it's going to work. Oh yeah, the music for the fortress is going to be the castle for New Super Mario Bros. for the DS. And the castle music will be the castle music for New Super Mario Bros. for the Wii. Even though those games are pretty similar, I don't know why the castle music was changed to that degree. Whatever. I prefer the Wii one, actually. Although, if you want me to do a Wii, I could, you know, I could probably do the playthrough of the Wii one. Like I said, I'm not 100% how I want to do, like, DS playthroughs. Even though I'm pretty sure at some point I should. But I'm just not, I don't know, it's, it's some technical jargon and some, you know, how I want to present it. Because you can't just, like, give people two videos to look at as a double screen situation. I don't know if that's going to work. Try to find the switch pals is to make your way easier. Yeah. Yeah, I think everyone knows that. The fortress and castle levels usually have more than one checkpoint. Oh yeah, that is good to know, actually. That there's multiple checkpoints in castle fortresses. That makes my life easier. I think there's other mods in which there's just more checkpoints in most levels because they're much longer. And so, because they make them longer than the standard Mario level, they actually balance it out by adding these checkpoints, which you should do. So I don't have to worry about thinking about save stating. Which isn't going to happen. Only save states you see in these playthroughs are me stopping the video and starting the video. That's what we have. Oh yeah, the bosses are ASM happy too, so... Yep. Don't expect the boss battles you're used to! Mm-hmm. <laughs> Shells. Are we supposed to get a yellow Koopa that early? I feel like this is the incorrect solution. Assuming there is a correct solution. Here's the most pointless piece switch ever. Why is that? It's just so you can get that coin. But, like, you probably could figure out a way to get it with the wall jump. This is what I mean where I know this level... All these levels were made before the wall jump mechanic was introduced. That's a big example right there. Although, if I guess it runs out, you have something to fall back on. Almost literally. Hey, yeah. I don't know why this place is littered with one. I don't know why the whole game is littered with one ups, really. Today's boss is. Oh, they use this a lot in mods. I don't know what the hell he is, though. Anyway, when he slams the ground, it will just stop you for a moment. Unless you're not in the ground like this. So I'm just going to stay up as high as I can. Yes. You know you've won when there's like a momentary pause. Seems to only apply to this, but I think it has something to do with the music being loaded. I can't imagine it's the emulation. Yeah, also I don't know if half of the stuff works on actual cartridges. You're just gonna have to try that yourself. <laughs> Next time, on Game of Plays Classic Mario World 1, the Magical Crystals Definitive Edition, we go into the curvy caverns, warning curves ahead.